Hello guys, my name is Unlimited Cop, back with another video. Today I'm going to be showing you guys how to set up a server for a sneaker release. Now this is a very easy task and to start it all off, you're going to want to make sure you have an account with Vulture. If you don't have an account, I'll put the link in the description to sign up, really easy. Now once you have your account, you're going to go down to where it says billing. And then you're going to make sure you have some funds on your account. Now I do believe it gives you a free $5 to start, so you can start with that. Once you have funds added to your account, click servers over here on the left, click the plus button. Now your location is going to depend on where your proxies are. So I mainly use New York and sometimes Chicago, but most of the time my proxies are based out of New York. If you don't know where your proxies are, the safe bet would probably be Chicago. So once you have your location, go down here to windows. Now I usually use a 2012 version, but you can use 2016. Now server size, this is the most important step. I would recommend using the 8 CPU if you're using a bot like Cyber, Eve, or Dashi. But if you're using lower class bots such as A and B, 6 CPU would work fine. I do not suggest going any lower than 6 CPU as you'll see significantly less performance. Now once you have your server size chosen, click enable IPv6 and then deploy now. And one more thing I forgot to mention, you're going to want to buy your servers 12 to 15 hours before the drop if it is a hype drop because some of these servers will sell out. Now this is going to take a second to deploy so I will see you guys in just a moment. Now once your instance is deployed, go ahead and click cloud instance right here. Now once your instance has deployed, you're going to want to download Microsoft Remote Desktop. I'll put a link in the description below to make it easy. Now once you have Microsoft Remote Desktop downloaded, go ahead and click new up here. Copy the IP address, paste where it says PC name, you can give the server a name of anything you would like, copy the username, and copy the password. Now once you've done all that, go ahead and click the X up here, find your server, and click start. Click continue here, wait for server manager to boot up. Now, once it's loaded up, click configure the server. See where it says enhance security config? Hit on and turn both of these off. Head back to the dashboard and you'll see the number two and then add roles and features. Click that, hit next, hit next again it again one more time and then hit .NET Framework 3.5 hit next then hit install now this is going to take a second to install so I'll see you guys once it's finished up now once it's done installing just hit close and you can go ahead and exit out of server manager now you're going to need Google Chrome if you're going to be solving captchas so simply just type in Chrome and just simply install Google Chrome now from here, you're going to want to log into your Gmail, Discord, or whatever it is that you have your bot on, and put in your license key. This is very, 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 very important. Once you're through using the bot on the server, you need to make sure you deactivate your bot off this server. Otherwise, you will lose your bot forever. You have to make sure you deactivate it after the drop. And that's pretty much it, guys. This is all you have to do. If you have any questions, you can contact me on Discord, or you can put them in the comments below. If you learned something from this video, please make sure you give it a thumbs up and subscribe. Also, if you're interested in joining a cook group, I currently own one. If you would like to check that out, I will put a link in the description below. We also have a couple giveaways going on, so be sure to check those out. Alright guys, this has been Unlimited Cop, and I will see you guys next video.